Hello, sir. Oh. How are you, sir? Good, sir. How are you? Not bad. Hi, Miss Rochelle. Just messing with the cameras a little bit, so don't mind me. I'm here. I'm just not on screen right now. Yes, sir. So did you get your headset, sir? I did. All right, yeah, it so sounds. It's a little <laughs> thing right there, see? Nice. Sounds better? Yeah, it sounds much better. Good. It seems to work underneath the mask, although it's... It's tough for me, but I'm just glad no one's oh, here. Okay. So, see, no one's here, so I get to now take my mask off. So <laughs> nice. So. All right. Hey, what's up, dude? Right, we'll give it another minute and see if anyone else joins us, and then we'll get started. Sir. All right, let's go ahead and get started. <coughs> okay, from here, face me, chit it, and Gyeongne. Let's warm it up just a little bit, hands on the hips. Rotate the neck side to side for me. Hana, dul, set, net, asat. 
여섯, 일곱, 여덟, 아홉, 열, 어펜데아 하나, 둘, 셋, 넷, 여섯, 여섯, 일곱, 여덟, 아홉, 열. Rotate your hips in a circle. 하나, 둘, 셋, 넷, 여섯, 여섯, 일곱, 여덟, 아홉, 열. And the other way. 하나, 둘, 셋, 넷, 여섯, 여섯, 일곱, 여덟, 아홉, 열. Together now, hands on your knees, rotate your knees in a circle. 하나, 둘, 셋, 넷, 여섯, 여섯, 일곱, 여덟, 아홉. 열, and the other way. 하나, 둘, 셋, 넷, 여섯, 여섯, 일곱, 여덟, 아홉, 열. From here to the side, spread your feet, two shoulders apart, face right. Set your head to your leg and hold. 하나. 둘, 셋, 넷, 여섯, 여섯, 일곱, 여덟, 아홉, 열. And up to the other side. Same thing, please. 하나, 둘, 셋, 넷, 여섯, 여섯. 일곱, 여덟, 아홉, 열. And uh, this time to the middle. From here, just drop down. Try and touch your elbows to the floor. 하나, 둘, 셋, 넷, 여섯, 여섯, 일곱, 여덟, 아홉, 열. And uh, go ahead and sit down for me, please. Legs open up as wide as you can. All right, turn to your left, reach over with the right hand, try and touch your toes for me. Hana, dui, set, net, set, set, here go. 여덟, 아홉, 열. And up, other side, same thing, please. 하나, 둘, 셋, 넷, 여섯, 여섯, 일곱, 여덟, 아홉, 열. And up to the middle now. Try and touch the elbows and your forehead to the ground for me. Ready? Hana. Dui. Set. Net. Set. Set. Yugop. Yudai. Aho. Yai. And uh, bring those feet together, legs straight out in front of you. Reach forward and try and grab those toes. Touch those toes. Hana, three, set, net, set, set, here go, here go, I hope, yay. And uh, this time, place your left leg on top of your right leg. 
and then stretch forward over your your right leg and try and touch your toes. Hana. Set. Net. Set. Set. Your go. Get I hope. Yay. And up other side. So switch feet, right leg on top of the left. Stretch over your left leg and try and touch your toes. Hana. Set. Net. Set. Yes, set. Your go. You die. I hope. Yay. And uh, bottoms of the feet together now. Butterfly stretch. Push those knees all the way to the floor. Hana. Yay. Set. Net. Set. You set. You go. You die. I hope. Yay. And uh, good. Go ahead and stand up. Turn around and fix your toe box. Shake out those legs just a little bit. All right, from here, everyone, jump Let's go back in the fighting stance. Aya, you can come a little bit closer to the to the camera. So what we're gonna do is we're not gonna do any type of kicking, moving forward, or back. What I want to do is I kind of want to work a little bit of this hook kick movement because this will help you with your reverse spinning hook kicks as well. So what we're gonna do is um, we'll start off, make it real easy. We're gonna use our front leg first. Right, since we're already kind of in this pivoted position, right, you're gonna kick out to the front over here, and then you're gonna pull the leg and bend your knee. So what we want is, what I want to see from you as you guys are doing this and facing the camera is you're gonna pull your leg when it's fully extended here, pull it across to here. When you get to this point here, you bend your knee and you keep pulling your knee past your target. So what I'm trying to see from you is your knee starts here, and then when you finish, your knee finishes back here, right? This is how far our knee has to move, from here to here, okay? Our leg, when we extend it out, is going to pull and be bigger. That motion is going to be bigger. Now, as we're doing this, don't worry about kicking high, all right? What I want to see... Okay, from a side view, what's, what should happen if I'm looking at you from the side is I should see extension, right? Leg then moves and then a bend, okay? So the way it looks facing the screen, and you should be able to kind of see your window and kind of see how you're doing this, but you should see the extension, pull, and then bend, okay? And we just want to go straight across. So keep it low. Go straight across. Hopefully what happens too is you have good balance. You need to have good balance. Okay, we don't wanna be here and doing this. All right, so you wanna make sure that you're maintaining that balance. So one, two. That's the motion that I want you to work, all right, for a little bit. Okay, go ahead on your own. Just off the front leg, makes it real easy. One, two, you don't even have to pivot, okay? Just make sure that your hook motion, right? Your hook motion starts when your knee gets here, straight in front, and then your knee follows behind. That's the thing. Once you hook here, don't stop moving your knee. Your knee still has to keep moving, right? So my knee moves from here all the way over to here, okay? My knee moves from here all the way over to here. Okay, so we're kicking with that left leg. Just go ahead and work that left leg just a little bit. Okay. There you go. All right, and kick toward the screen. Kick toward the screen, all right, like you're kicking toward me. All right, just follow what I'm doing here to here. 
So your upper body shouldn't really do anything. That's the other thing, right? If you start to move this, this is where you lose your balance is because of up here, All right? Keep your body sideways, just move the leg. You see? My upper body, my shoulders don't move at all, All right? I'm just kind of opening up my hip. You just need to make sure that you straighten the leg out. Straighten it out, pull, and then bend. Okay? When you bend, right, try to think I'm trying to pull the heel up to my butt. Mm, so it's this, this motion here. Pull. Okay. Good. Much better. See, one of the mistakes that we make, a lot of people make with hook kick is they just bend their knee. You just kind of lift the leg and just bend the knee, right? That's wrong. You got to pull through the target, all right? This will help you with the reverse spinning hook, but you got to get this part down first, right? You got to be able to pull that leg across the target, okay? Now I'm sure that the hip is getting a little tired right now, so let's switch legs, all right? Switch your stance. Right, kicking off that front leg. Now you're going to kick over here early. Pull and pull across. All right, good. For most of you, you're right leg dominant. So this side should feel a lot better, feel a lot stronger, feel a lot easier. Okay. So don't start it too far out here. Okay, just more out in front, just a little early. And then across. There you go, Mr. Hammer. Good, 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 good. Ah, uh, Ms. Vershali, you're not, you're bending your knee first before you move your leg. Move the leg and then bend, yes. Yeah, see, that side's pretty good, Miss Abigail. I like it. That's good. There you go, Mr. Soljes. You got to make sure, though, your knee still has to come way back here. Okay? You're stopping your knee here in front. It's got to come way back here. So hook and back. Okay? No falling. You just keep it low. Keep it low. That's okay. That's the motion. Good, Mr. Shakir. Just like that. So the goal now is, right? So now let's... Um, Stay in that same position. Now we're going to kick with the left leg again. Now you're going to bring it up to the front off that back leg. We're going to make it a little bit faster. So basically what you're doing is you're going straight here and then pulling across. Right? One, two. That motion. If you need to kick low, that's okay. Kick down here, that's okay. There you go. I'm not worried about the foot positioning right now, right? If your toes are pointed like this, that's okay, all right? If your foot is kind of neutral, that's okay too. There you go, good. Come on, Miss Abigail, other leg, let's do the other leg. There you go, yeah, come off the back leg, yeah. So from the fighting stance, you gotta bring it up to the front and then across. Right, like we do a normal hook kick. There you go. Good, Mr. Hammer. Yeah, nice. There you go. Good, good. Nice, Ms. Rashali. Okay. So as it gets more comfortable now, right, you're going to move it a little bit faster, and then you'll hook through a little bit quicker, right? So what we want to try to do is accelerate through this point here, this front point here, accelerate through. Okay. There you go. Because that, what that does is it helps us to bring that leg down, right? Kind of bring it back to where we started. Come on, Mr. Soljes. You're not practicing, sir. All right, you have to throw it more this way. Toward dad, daddy's side. Nope, you got to throw it toward daddy's side more. 
All right, your kick's got to come over here more toward dad's side. No, wrong leg, wrong leg, sir. Back leg. Let's use our listening ears. Okay? Keep your hands up. All right, let's switch legs and let's try the other side. Try the other side. Once again, this is your dominant leg for most, so this should feel a little bit easier. Just, Mr. Hammer, be careful, right? Make sure that that knee is still moving sideways. What happens is as you start to bend on this side, your knee is turning, kind of. Don't, we don't want that knee to turn at all. All right, Miss Abigail, let's do the other leg. Let's do the other leg. Put it in the back, though. Start in the back, yep. Can you come a little bit closer to the screen? There you go. Yeah, that way I can see it a little bit better. Nice. There you go, Ms. Rochelle. You just got to speed it up, right? You have good technique. You just got to speed, yep. Nice. There you go. Come on, Mr. Hammer. <laughs> Get those bricks off your feet. Get those running running shoes off of your feet, right? That's what it is. It's those heavy running shoes. There you go. Good. So it's important. The higher we get that kick up, the higher the knee has to come. And the knee has to stay level. So if we're down here, the knee stays level. If we're midsection, the knee stays level. If we're high, the knee has to stay level, right? You just got to pick that knee up higher. That's the key. Good. Excellent. All right. So now let's, uh, let's switch legs. So now this time you're going to turn to your backside now, right? So now from here, we're going to do the exact same thing. You're going to turn to your back, right? Throw that reverse side kick out here and then finish it. Now the key here is you have to move this right foot, right? This front foot, you got to move it. So it's got to turn and kind of spin all the way around. So this is what I want you to do to start. Don't worry about straightening the leg out or anything right now. We want to get used to turning and kind of spinning. So what you're going to do is you're going to lift your knee up, and you're just going to bring it all the way around in a circle like that. So when you do that, you got to get up on your toes. Yep, you got to kind of spin, all right? Now, Ms. Vershali and uh, probably Ms. Abigail, since you guys are on carpet, right, you might get a lot of friction. And so it's going to get a little bit warm under the toes, right? So you want to make sure, right, if, especially if you're spinning fast, right? So you may need to alternate legs a little bit, okay? But the key here, right, we have to kind of go to our, we have to go into ballet class a little bit, right? We have to maintain balance. Yeah, we have to kind of pirouette, right? And maintain our balance. All right. So, yes, you have to be in Mr. Hammer, Mr. Shakir. Yeah, we have to get in touch with our feminine side a little bit here, gentlemen, right? And kind of come up and just lightly bring it around. All right. So don't try to force it around. <laughs> just relax. Take a deep breath. Exhale out. And then lift the knee and bring it around. Yes. Okay? And then as that gets comfortable, then you start to straighten the leg out a little bit. Right? And just kind of swing the leg. Right? Kind of a straight swing the leg. So, Mr. Shakir, don't, don't lift your knee and then start your turn. Right? I want you to turn and lift your leg at the same time. Turn and lift your leg at the same time. Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. Just like that. Huh? No. So, Mr. Sojas, Mr. Sojas, I want you in front a little bit. Mr. Shakir, you can go ahead and step back a little bit. Yeah, there you go. Good. Okay, stay right there, Mr. Sojas. Don't go backward toward Daddy. All right? Let's go. Practice your spin, please. Okay, Miss Abigail, do your spin, right? Let's do that spin with the straight leg, right? Miss Rochelle, you can go ahead and add that hook motion, right? 
Take your time, get that extension and with the hook. So the key here, Mr. Rochelle, is you want to get that timing down, right? Where you're, right? You're going straight and then you're hooking, right? That's the timing we want to get, right? Because if we hook too early, then it looks like this, right? If we wait too long, then it looks like this, right? Timing is important. We want that hook to start here and finish here. So now, Mr. Hammer, instead of keeping the toe, you see how your leg, your toes are down when you're spinning? So you're, you're, just, you're doing this. So now what I want you to do is I want you to keep your heel up as you do it. Keep your heel up. There you go, Mr. Shakir. Not too bad. Good. <laughs> a little bit hard. If you're getting dizzy, go ahead and switch sides. That's okay. All right. Switch sides and, and keep practicing. Mr. Soldiers, can you scoot this way just a little bit? There you go, right there. Perfect. That way I can kind of see dad a little bit too. Ah, Miss Abigail. No, see, you're kicking over here. All right, you're kicking way over here. All right, you got to kick me. Kick toward the screen. Boom, kick in front like that. So turn, and, turn your body and look at me. Then shoot the kick and hook. Better, better. Okay. Nice movement, Mr. Hammer. Very good. That's what I want to see right there. All right? And then now work on the extension and then the retraction, right? Straightening the leg out and getting that hook. Oh, Mr. Rochelle. <laughs> I know, you're a little dizzy. You might need to do a couple on each side, right, so you don't get so dizzy. Pick your knee up, Mr. Swojus. You're not picking your knee up, sir. No, 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 no. Starting a good fighting stance. Always start in a good fighting stance, right? The leg in the back, right? The leg in the back. You have to lift the leg up in the back and turn to your back. No, turn the wrong way. Turn the other way. Yeah, it's like reverse side kick, right? Kick toward me, yeah. Okay. There you go. Nice, Mr. Rochelle. Good. That right side is solid. Right side is very good. Left side, the timing's off. <laughs> yeah, see, the left side doesn't even look like you're getting that leg straight at all. It basically looks like you're, you're just kind of hooking all the way through. You're not even straightening that leg out. Okay, so you want to make sure that leg goes straight. There you go. Now, Mr. Hammer, you got to make sure that the heel is being pulled into your butt at the very end of that. All right, sir? Yes, that's better. Much better. I can see the, the hooking motion is much better now. There you go, Mr. Shakir. Good. You got to pick your knee up, Mr. Swojus, right? Okay, you got to look at me. I'm your target. Okay. Let's go, Miss Abigail. Let me see a few of those. Better. Better. There you go. And it's hard. It's not easy, right? If it was easy, everyone could do it first time. Not a problem. All right? But this is why we have it as a senior green belt kick. It's a higher a level kick. It's hard to get that timing down so that you guys know to hook in front of your body. Okay, a couple more minutes, couple more minutes.
There we go. Good. Nice. Good, 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 good. Looks good, Ms. Vershelly. So now, Mr. Shakir, what I want you to do is I want you to throw a reverse sidekick now. Throw a true reverse sidekick, right? That way. And then once you straighten the leg out, then you start to pull and bend, right? That's the motion that we want to get. There you go. All right, Mr. Swojus, I told you, don't scoot back, right? Scoot up unless you want to get kicked by daddy. There you go. Okay. That's the motion, Mr. Shakir. Yep, there you go. The key is to make sure, keep that knee sideways, keep your heel up. Don't let the heel come down because when the heel comes down, then the knee comes up. So we want the knee sideways, right? Just like we did all of this coming forward. It's the same motion. There you go, good. And yes, for your purposes right now, if you're kicking shin level or thigh level, that's perfectly fine. Get that motion down, get that spin down. Make sure that hook is level. And then ultimately when we get ready to test for that blue belt, sir, right? I wanna see it right at about waist level. If you can get a higher, great, but minimum, we want it at least waist level. Okay, that's the goal. Pick that knee up a little bit higher on the initial point there, Mr. Hammer. It's a little bit low. Yes. You just got to get the extension, though. That's the only thing. That's the hard part is once you lift, it's hard to get that extension. You got to get that extension still out. All right, let's take a quick break. Get some water. All right, walk it out a little bit. Doing great. Good job. Good job. If you have questions, all you need to do is unmute yourself, okay? And then you can ask your question. Miss Abigail, how many takedowns do you know? Um, I think I know like one or two. One or two? Okay. All right, we're gonna work on those for you. All right. Or yeah, dad. My dad teached me one to me third one, but yeah, I think I need kind of like the reminding of the first movement or stuff because he forgot it in so so okay. okay all right go ahead and put your thing on mute yep there you go good all right mr shakara and mr swell just i'm gonna have you pair up with each other let's go ahead and work through some of your one steps for a little bit please all right um so mr hammer miss uh Vershelly, remember the wrist grab or yeah we did wrist grab so remember the wrist grab, you did the pull, pull away, back fist, right? So that was the one where we basically, we're gonna pull and twist, right? For Ms. Vershali, right? If you need a little extra leverage, right? You're gonna twist, grab that hand, and then you'll pull. So we're trying to flatten our wrist out so that basically you break the hold where the thumb and the index finger join, right? Pull and then right into the back fist. Okay. Remember, we can follow that back fist up with a front kick or a push kick. All right. We also talked about from here. Um, we also talked about kind of pulling in, stepping in, and doing the elbow strike with the point of the elbow to the to the neck or the temple area. So basically, what happens here is if you can't get rid of the grip, right? There's too strong. You can't pull away. 
you step into them, right? Because in essence, when they grip you, they're going to try to pull you in anyway. So you're just going to kind of step in. So if they're, if, if they're grabbing with their left hand, right? If you guys are grabbing this way, I'm going to step in, step in with my, my left leg, right? And I'm going to attack with my left elbow. Okay, so basically the motion is they've got they've got the grip here. They're they're pulling, so I'm gonna pull back away from me at the same time I do my elbow. Right, so they're grabbing. I'm gonna step in and pull an elbow. Yep, using the point of my elbow. Right, either hitting the carotid artery area, the neck area, or if their head is upright, then we're going aiming for the temple, the side of the head, or even the ear. Boom. Okay. So that's, that's this motion, right? That's what we're doing. This is, they grab this wrist. I'm going to pull back and do the elbow. Because remember, they're pulling you in, so you're just stepping in and kind of pulling against the grain a little bit and doing a quick strike. Boom. Okay? And then you have the other one where basically if you don't want to be pulled in, right, do a quick little kick to the shin. That loosens the grip. Then you can pull away and then do your strike, right? So you want to make sure, yeah, you want to make sure that basically if they're grabbing your left hand, right, I'm going to step back with my right leg. So I want to make sure, right, I would make sure I would kick with my right leg. Boom. That way I can, as I pull, as I bring that leg back, yeah, you're already in the motion. Does that make sense? Right? Instead of trying to kick with the other leg and then step back with the other one, right? Just boom, step back and pull, and then go into that second strike. All right, does that make sense? Okay, all right. All right, so uh, Miss Abigail, go ahead and work through those a little bit. I'm gonna be with you in just a second. Okay, work through your takedowns, what you can remember. All right, so Mr. Hammer, Miss Vershali, now we're gonna do the same side or handshake position. So now if right hand versus right hand, left hand versus left hand. All right? So we're going to do a simple elbow break. All right? So this is effective. Mr. Hammer, pretty much anyone that you run into, this is going to be a good technique to use, right? Because you're, you're the taller person. You're typically going to be the most tallest person. This benefits those people that are tall. So if your assailant is same height or shorter, this technique will work. Ms. Vershali, if you try to do this when Mr. Hammer is attacking you, right, he's just going to laugh at you, right, because he towers over you. So it's not going to really benefit. But if I'm doing it on you, yes, you're going to hurt me. If Natalie's doing it on you, it's going to work because she's shorter than you. So basically what we're doing is when left hand versus left hand, because I'm mirroring you guys, or I'm sorry, let's do right hand versus right hand. So let's do right hand, right hand. So here. From this position here, basically what I'm going to do is typically this is the situation where they're grabbing, they're squeezing, they don't want to let go, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to secure their hand up next to your hand. And then what we want to do is we want to turn their hand so that their palm is up, okay? So, yeah, you're going to roll it this way, right? When you do that, as you're turning that hand so that the palm is up, we're going to step across our body with the right leg, all right, that way, one, boom, right? And here, now you're going to turn to your back corner, right? And then you're going to basically be in a horse riding stance. And then you're going to basically straighten up your knees and pull down at the same time. And you're going to be pulling over the closest shoulder, okay? So from here, since um, I'm doing right hand versus right hand, I put my left hand up against their hand. I'm going to turn their hand so that their palm is up, right? One. I'm going to step with my left leg. I'm going to step up, and I'm going to pull down at the same time. This motion over my left shoulder, okay? And what I want is my, the, my assailant's elbow to be right where the shoulder is. So I don't want to pull the arm over my head at all. I just want to keep it on the same side. 
So Mr. Hammer, your motion, you're kind of almost pulling it over your head. So you just want to make sure, here, just pull straight down. Boom, yep. So the biggest thing is, once you get my wrist like this, where the palm is up, right, it's very simple to pop that, pop that elbow. So we want the elbow joint here on the shoulder, okay? And all your leverage is on the hand, the hand point, and you're pulling down. Okay, so the elbow joint, this elbow joint right here should be right at my shoulder, and then I'm going to pull down this motion. Squat in a horse riding stance. As I pull down, boom, I straighten up. Now, when you're practicing this with each other or with someone, because we don't want to hurt anyone, right, all you need to do is just get, it to the, just get the elbow up to the shoulder. That's it. Don't pull down, right? Just mo from there, you can let go and then kind of motion that pull, right? Because it's, it's very easy. Less than four pounds of pressure will dislocate it. Or actually, three, three pounds of pressure will dislocate it. Four pounds of pressure will break it. That's it. It's not much at all, right? So, so now, if it's the left hand versus left hand, then we grab with the right hand. We're going to step with the right leg and turn, right? So we got to turn that that hand so that the palm is up and then boom this side mm -hmm. and you're once again don't pull the the biggest thing is you don't want to pull the arm over your head you just want to pull it to the even just to the closest elbow okay yep and so in essence basically what's going to happen is that you guys when you step across you want to be about 45 degree. You're going to turn so that you're at about a 45 degree angle facing the back corner of your room. Okay? So here, I am facing you right now. When I do this, boom, you see how I'm facing your corner? So this is right hand versus right hand. One, I face and turn and face this corner of my room. So step across with your right leg. And then come up, down. Okay? So that's the right corner, uh, to the right back corner. Yep. And then if it's a left hand versus left hand, I just turn the other way and go to the other corner. Yes. There you go. Good. Okay? Right? So that's the motion. So as you do this, right, you're going to lift. You're going to lift the arm and then pull down and straighten up at the same time. That's the motion. Okay? I'm going to let you work on the footwork just a little bit. It's a little tricky. All right. All right, Miss Abigail, real quick. All right. So I'm punching you. Show me, show me the takedown that you know. Good. And then which leg kicks? Yep. Good. Okay. Now show me another one. Awesome. Good. All right. How about the third one? See, tell me what you remember of the third one. Knife hand. Yep. Punch and punch to the stomach. Remember the hand goes over here. Yep. And then pull. You're going to lift up like this. Yep. I fall and then, yep, you can stomp or you can punch with the right hand. Okay. So let's do that one again together, Miss Abigail. One, two, sweep, and boom. Good job. All right. Okay. We're, um, let's do one more. I'll show you one more. Okay. So now this time, Miss Abigail, okay, we're going to do like number one, three sets of number one. All right. Do palm block. And then two punches, all right? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, two punches, right? Block, one, two. You're going to grab. Okay, you're going to grab with the hand. Now you're going to lift your right leg up. No, your other right leg. Lift your right leg up. So you should be looking at me. Look at me. There you go, yep. Right, and then you're gonna do side kick this way, down to the knee, right? And then 
You're going to do elbow with the other hand. There you go. Good. All right. Let's try that again. Okay. So we're going to go here. Oh, I'm going to do it like you. Okay. So I'm looking your, your way. I'm going to go this way. Block. One, two. Grab. Other hand grabs. I'm going to grab the arm. I'm grabbing the arm. All right. I'm going to lift up my right leg. I'm going to bring the arm toward me like this. And then I'm going to do side kick down to the knee. I'm going to put it down. And that other hand, elbow. Boom. There you go. Okay, let's try that one more time. Okay, so I step. Lock. One, two. Grab. Other hand. Okay. Then I lift and pull. Kick. Put it down. Elbow. There you go. Okay? Practice that one, all right? All right, good. Mr. Shakir, questions on any of the one steps? Yes, sir. Clarification okay. on the, the, the one with the ridge hand. Oh, okay. All right, so I'm going to do it facing the same way you guys are facing. So we're going to do palm block one. All right? Two. And then three. There you go. So basically what it is, is from here, you do the palm block, my hand moves. Okay? Then you do the stomach punch, and then your ridge hand comes to the back of my head, and it comes this way. So that's why we turn to the back of our room, and we come across. Okay? Does the ridge hand also do a twist at the end? No, um, you can if you want to. It's easier to just kind of keep it in place. Yeah, oh, I'm sorry. It's easier to keep it in place and just come across. Yes, sir. Okay. And, and the palm block, do I jump or do I just step and palm block? It's, it depends, right? You may need to jump, right? Yeah. You may need to jump, but it's, it's just you can certainly step and block at the same time. So you do your block one and then two that way. Okay. Yes, but you're going to notice here, if you notice, my hand kind of came high and then came downward. Right. And the reason for that is because why? Because we have to, we have to get over that, that punch. Yes, sir. That punch movement. So, right. So you can, you can avoid that if you wanted to, instead of doing this type of a palm block, right. You can come down. Do a yes. downward palm and push it down, right? Then do the punch with the other hand, and then you can come straight across. So there's two types of palm blocks. There's a side palm block, and then there's a downward palm block. Uh, are you saying the ridge hand at the end will be, now we be with the right hand, and it goes across the throat? Boom. No, uh, on the back side of that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, it, you, if, you could use a left knife hand strike and go across the throat. So you could do a palm block, but you'd have, to add, you'd have to do your, like, number one block, one, two. Then you come across. Yes, right? sir. So part of this is just kind of understanding what position after I do my things – because what we want to do is we want to do, if we do right hand one time, we want to do left hand, then right hand, then left hand. Yes, we sir. usually do not want to do right hand and then right hand. Yes, sir. We don't want to block and strike with the hand because there's not a lot of energy in that. There's not a lot of power in that, right? If we do this here, we're channeling energy back into that next movement, right? Yes, so that's what we're trying to do is we're trying to channel energy from one hand to the other one arm to the other that's why we alternate those hands all right sir yes sir thank you all right good all right Pastor Hong, yes sir which hand do you have to do the rich hand with left hand. you were not listening all right it's your left hand sir you were not listening left hand right hand left hand all right and mr shakir when you do the obviously when the left hand punches you do everything opposite it'll be right left right yes sir Okay, good. Thank you, sir. Uh-huh. Mr. Hammer and Ms. Vershelly, are we okay with that? 
that handshake one. All right. So that's obviously for the taller per tall uh, the shorter person and the same size person. Now the other option is from here, we do the same thing, but this time instead of stepping across our body and turning the wrist, you're gonna step the opposite way. So with my right hand versus right hand, I'm gonna step with my right leg to the right hand, to my right hand side. And I'm gonna lift the arm and I'm gonna bring the arm over my head and bring it down. And then this is where I do the roundhouse kick or the front kick. Now the key here, okay? So I'm gonna be on this red and blue line. I'm gonna be a little bit distant. But from here, when I do this, when I step across, I'm not stepping into the blue if you notice, right? I'm actually going to stay, if I can, I wanna to try to stay in the red meaning I'm going straight to the side, okay? So from a side view here, right, this line that I'm on, I'm directly in line with the camera here. So when I do this, I'm gonna try to come this way. You see how I move straight directly to the side of me? Because the tendency for a lot of people is to step here. Step kind of in front and at an angle, okay? And that's okay. The problem is it's hard to get a kick in properly. Okay, if I step straight to the side here, right, now you're right here. My face is right here. You've twisted my arm, and this is where I'm at. So it's easy to get that kick here, okay? If you don't, if you step out to the side, right, then you're over here, and my face is here. So you, it's hard to get a, a strike in. So that's why it's important when you do this, when we step across, you see how I step directly across. One, swing the arm, and then bring it down. Okay? You want to get into a good front stance. So if I step with my right leg, I'm going to kick with my right leg. Right? If I step with my left leg, I'm going to bring it down, and I'm going to kick with my left leg. Yes. Okay? So basically what happens is when you make that step and you start to swing that leg around, right? Now my arm turns and twists this way. All right? And so we want to be here so that you can get that good front kick this way. So yeah, so you'll be to the side of me and then I'm leaning forward. Right? So let's do it from the side, you guys. So let's have you guys on, on this side of the room facing me. So my right hand, your right hand is out. So step across, secure the hand, step across with your right leg, swing the le arm up over your head. Uh, Mr. Hammond, you want to step with your other right leg, sir? Step toward the back of your room. There you go, run, and then twist. Twist and turn, get into a front stance here like this, right? And then see, this is the position that I'm at right now. Now all you got to do is a front kick and you're going to nail me right in the face because I'm here. Does that make sense? So from here, I want to go toward the back of, your, back of your room. Secure the hand. My right leg goes to the back of the room. I swing the hands up over, and then I pull straight down into a good front stance here, and then boom, kick. Now, Ms. Vershali, be careful. Don't step too far this way. All right? Just one, two. If you need to, what you can do is you can move your left leg after you step across. Move your left leg a little bit. Yeah. Okay? Instead of trying to get your leg way over here. Does that make sense? And then if you do it the other way, with the left hand, you're going to step to the left side. There you go. Good. And then your left leg will kick on that left side. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, any questions? It's hard to do these self-defense techniques, unfortunately, because, you know, you kind of need to see what the, how the arm is being manipulated. Right? So I'm trying to give you a visualization on how to manipulate that arm. Basically, we're trying to get the arm like this. 
on that one. Okay? So when you swing it up and over, my arm's going to turn, and then you're, when you pull down, it's like this. Okay? And then you pull, and then you do your kick. Master Hunt. Yeah? Yes, Miss Abigail. Uh, I have a question um, about the new, about the new take sound. Yes. So I don't remember you do this and then grab the hand and then kick. I kick, side kick to the knee. Yeah. And put it down in front and then turn and do the elbow with the left hand. There you go. Okay. So when you're practicing on daddy, practice, do the slow side kick. I just want you to touch his leg, okay? So what happens is when you kick Miss Abigail, right? So when you do that kick, right, this is what happens when you kick. You kick my knee and it I falls down. And you're holding onto my arm here so that when you do your elbow strike, it's going to hit me in the head, okay? Ms. Rochelle, question? You're on mute. Oh. Yeah, anyone trying to shake your hands with your left hand? Uh, how likely is that? Probably not. But what happens if it's a left grab, left hand grab? Maybe the left hand dominant person, they grab you, right? So, that, so we have to work both sides, basically, right? Even if it was a wrist grab, it's the same thing. If it's, a, if it's a right wrist grab instead of a handshake, you're going to do the exact same thing. You're securing the hand, right, and then doing the same motion. So that's all we're trying to do. Whether it's there, where it's the um, forearm grab, maybe they grab the forearm, right? Maybe it's, you know, a big-handed adult, right, that has massive hands, and they grab your forearm. You can do the same thing. So, all right. Okay, um, let's go ahead and let's line back up. Uh, I went a little bit over, so I do apologize. Um, thanks for your time and everything. All right, from here, face me. Chit up. And Kyung Have a great weekend, you guys. Um, if you're interested, next class is um, kind of going through my roots. I'm doing some ITF forms if you're interested in learning. So that's at 7 o'clock. right, make sure you um, take care of your moms, students, and wives. Mr. Shakir, Mr. Hammer, right? Take care of those lovely women in your life, right? So happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. All right, and we will see you guys Bye. next week or next class, all right? Bye-bye. Thank you. Great job, guys.